Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG from Bridgecom Systems. A common issue many hams run into is having a wimpy antenna that doesn't give them enough range to transmit. This is especially important if you're in your vehicle. That's why we are bringing you the BCA300. It's a mobile mag mount style antenna and it will mount directly to your vehicle and work with your radio. Let's get started. Today, we are going to show you exactly what to do with this antenna once it arrives so you can go out and put it directly on your vehicle. But first, let's go over a few features. This antenna has a frequency range of 136 to 174 megahertz in the VHF spectrum and 400 to 480 megahertz in the UHF spectrum. The antenna with base attached is 19 and a half inches tall. It has a three inch diameter base so it will adhere to your vehicle without falling off. The antenna has 13 feet of feed line. It's got an SMA female connector so you'll be able to connect it to any of our Anytone handheld radios and many other SMA style radios. And to top it off, it handles a max power of 50 watts. So even if you want to use it with some higher power radios, if you have an adapter for it, it will take it. So now that you know a little bit more about this BCA 300 antenna, let's go out to the car and set it up. Okay, so now we're out here at my vehicle. So first up, take your antenna, stick it on the, the center of your roof. Now it comes with a little rubber piece. That way you can put it under there and it shouldn't scratch up your paint. Then take the cable, stick it under your roof rails if you have any. Once you have the cable through here, I like to open the back door and stuff it underneath the seal. Give it a little bit of slack there and just take it, stick it in the seal. You can do this with most, most vehicles. Go down as far as you can, then wrap it inside. So now that you have the cable inside your vehicle, what I like to do is run underneath the rear floor mat and then up to the front cabin. And this way, putting it in with the seal means you won't have any leaks and you can use your door like normal. So let's try it out. Okay, so now we're in the vehicle. We have the antenna here. Uh, first, we're going to try out the stock antenna to see how far we can get with it. Uh, we've got Buckley KE0CUZ inside. He's gonna be talking to us on a, a mobile rig so we won't have any limitations from his end. Uh, and we are gonna be using this Anytone 878 Plus here. So let's get going. Should I try Buck from here? This is W3AMG. Uh, you get a copy? This is KE0CUZ. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Perfect, there we go. So we are still on the stock antenna, coming through loud and clear. Okay, we're a little bit further along. Let's try that again. This is W3AMG. Uh, can you hear me? Perfect, there we go. We're still good with the stock antenna. This is W3AMG. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, this is KE0CUZ. You're still clear. The day is long. Well, there we go. He can still hear us. It was starting to break up just a little bit on, there, on our end. Uh, so we'll try it a little bit further up here and uh, then maybe switch over to the mag mount antenna. This is W3. Uh, this is KE0CUZ. Okay, so both of our signals uh, have dropped like a rock and sound terrible according to uh, KE0CUZ. So let's uh, pull in here and switch over to the other antenna. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over to the BCA300. Now, it, uh, you have a little bit of adjustment here. You can use these in different ways, but uh, easiest way is really just screw the antenna, or screw the radio onto the antenna. There we go, just like that. Now, let's see if Buckley can hear us now. This is W3AMG with the uh, bigger mag mount antenna, the BCA300. Can you hear us now? This is KE0CUZ. Your signal is very good. There's a bit of static in the background, but that's about it. Perfect. There we go. So we are now in action again. Let's see how far we can get with this one. This is W3AM. 
This is KE0CUZ. I no longer hear you loud and clear. Okay, so we are down in a valley. Uh, let's try getting up on top of this hill and see if that will give us the edge that we need. Terrain makes a huge difference in radio. Uh, so being able to just put a range on something doesn't tell you anything. Here, let's try it right here. This is W3. This is KE0CUZ. The signal is clearer as long as it stays. Uh, but you can flip in and out. Okay, there we go. So we could uh, still get to him on top of the hill. Um, so that's basically it. Okay, so we are right up on top of a hill. We're gonna try it from up here. This is W3AMG. Uh, are we coming in clear now? This is KE0CUZ. Yeah, you're a whole lot clearer. I'm assuming you're coming back. This is W3AMG. No, we are actually uh, further away. We are on top of a hill now. Well, that would explain it. KE0CUZ. Perfect, there we go. So terrain really makes a huge difference in radio. Uh, so let's see how much further we can get. This is W3AMG. Do you copy now? This is KE0CUZ. Yeah, you are pretty clear right up to the end of the uh, transmission. There we go. So as long as you are on top of a hill, you are going to have some good luck. In fact, let me see if I can pull in right here and we will try it again. This is W3AMG. We are on top of another hill. Even further along. Do you copy now? This is KE0CUZ. Yep, you're back to being pretty clear, though the uh, background static is getting louder. Wow, there we go. Perfect. So we, uh, we are really making some progress. If you have good terrain, you are going to be set with this antenna. Let's keep going. This is W3AMG. We are even further along. Copy it now. This is K0CUZ. I can still understand you, though. That background static is getting really loud. Okay, so we can still make a contact. I could hear him, he could hear me. Uh, a little bit staticky, uh, but that's expected for the distance we are. And there are quite a few trees around here, so certainly not a uh, straight line view. This is W3AMG, do you copy? No, I guess we've reached. Okay, so we just made it back from the drive. Uh, so this antenna performed great. We actually got close to double the distance with it than we did from the radio stock antenna. Now we had the radio set it at six watt UHF transmit power, and even with that little amount of power, this antenna performed great for a handheld mobile antenna. Today we walk you through setting up a BCA300 antenna and showed you how much range you can gain with it. If you'd like to maximize the range of your radio, click down below and buy a BCA300 today. Thanks for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, 7-3.